In this video, we're gonna share some advice on how to successfully deploy a machine learning model to production. My name is Nema, and I'm a product manager and former mobile and machine learning engineer at a big tech company. Deploying a model often involves complex engineering challenges in the ML model lifecycle. There are several decisions to make, including whether the model will run in the cloud or on the device, how the model will be optimized and compiled, what hardware to serve the model with, how to handle user traffic, how to make sure the new model outperforms the old model, and how to continuously monitor performance. Designing an effective model is just one part of machine learning system design, and this topic will likely come up frequently in your interviews. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to check out Exponent's complete machine learning interview course, featuring hours of ML mock interviews, real-world coding practice, and machine learning system design deep dives. Start for free on tryexponent.com. Let's go over the three main components of ML deployment. Number one, deploying the model. Number two, serving the model. And number three, monitoring the model. Let's talk about deploying a model. First, only deploy a new model when you're confident that it will perform better than the current production model on real world data. Beyond picking appropriate evaluation metrics, consider how to test your model on production data through A-B tests, canary deployment, feature flags, or shadow deployment. Next, start by selecting the hardware, deciding if the model will be served remotely or on the edge, meaning in the browser or on device. Serving remotely allows more compute resources, but it may suffer from network latency. Serving on the edge can be more efficient and offer better security and privacy, but it may compromise model capacity. Some trade-offs can be improved using modern model compression or knowledge distillation techniques. Next, you're ready to optimize and compile the model. There are many compilers for common ML frameworks and hardware combinations. For example, NVCC or NVIDIA GPUs with PyTorch or XLA for TensorFlow with TPUs, GPUs, and CPUs. At this point, your code might still need additional optimizations like vectorizing iterative and batching operations to run on the same hardware where the data exists. Finally, decide how to handle different traffic patterns. Predictions can be batched asynchronously or handled as they arrive. This might use computational resources less efficiently, but incur less latency. For traffic spikes, consider using a smaller, less accurate model or a single model instead of ensembling predictions from multiple models. Monitoring the model. Once deployed, you'll need to monitor the model's health and performance. Performance regressions are common because data and user behaviors constantly shift. A model that was once accurate might become obsolete requiring a new model or new features. Set up infrastructure to detect drift in features, data, or models, and benchmark competing models when you need to. To evaluate on real-world data, you need a source of ground truth. Do you have a hand-labeled dataset of gold standard data that's continuously updated, or will you rely on less direct metrics like the number of clicks on a recommended post or video? Determine when the model's performance has regressed enough to require intervention. Think about what tools you will build to monitor and troubleshoot model serving issues like high inference latency, high memory use, or numerical instability. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching this video on deploying a machine learning model. Be sure to check out Exponent's machine learning interview prep course in the description below, and we'll see you in a future video.